Oh, this is so much fun. So maybe you've fallen for a viral internet prank or someone you know has. You click on a link thinking it's one thing, it's something totally different. That means you've been Rickrolled. It refers to the 80s pop sensation and he's having a remarkable career resurgence. Anthony Mason traveled to London to chat with the now 56 year old singer at McKellar Brew Pub, which Rick Astley co-owns. For 35 years, it's been Rick Astley's calling card. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. That record just won't die. <laughs> Have there been and, times you and, wanted it no, to? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm kind of joking in that way, but I, yeah. I'm, um, I can imagine some people want it to die. And hurt you. The video of his 1987 smash has been viewed more than 1.2 billion times. I've got a very special relationship with that song. It's been unbelievably good to me and keeps being good to me. Astley is singing it again this summer on the mixtape tour, crossing the country with new kids on the block, Salt and Peppa and Envo. And then we've made this crazy video. It's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun doing it. Back the Time recreates scenes from some of the 80s most iconic videos. You're parodying the David Byrne video, right? Indeed. Yeah. I hope he doesn't see it. Anyway, that's all <laughs> I can say. Everyone else can watch it, just not David. <laughs> Where are we going next? Uh, who knows? <laughs> this is very nice. Come on in. This is Astley's home for the three month tour. Rick and his wife, Lena, who's also his manager, won't always be sleeping on the bus. But you're kind of living out of it. We are living out of it, yeah. You're okay yeah. being on a bus for three months? Uh, yeah, but we do punctuate it with very nice hotels sometimes, <laughs> so that's, you know. But it's a long road, some 50 gigs. This is the whole tour? This is the whole thing. Oh my gosh, so you really do all, go all the way around the we country. We do, so we started here, Yeah. we've been there, we've been there, we're on our way to here, and on and on and on it goes. Ashley was passing through Nashville when we caught up with him and looking forward to a night off in Dallas to see a Paul McCartney concert. I'm not ashamed to say I cried my eyes out at the end of it. As the fanboy later posted on Instagram. I won't forget that night for a very, very long time. Astley's career was launched in 1985 when a producer caught a gig near Manchester, England. How did he pitch you at the time? He had a Jaguar and leather pants. You didn't need to say any more than that. <laughs> that was the pitch. He moved to London, working in the studio at first. So I ended up making the tea and the coffee and getting the sandwiches. You were bringing tea to Bananarama? I was. I was. Astley would bring his own wardrobe to the video shoot for his first single. I turned up in a cab with a bag full of clothes double denim. I'm like, what are we doing? Stand against that chain link fence and dance. <laughs> Off you go, son. <laughs> Never Gonna Give You Up went to number one in 25 countries. Astley would have a run of top 10 hits in the UK and the US. But he began to sour on pop stardom. Why don't I see you cry? Oh, and in 1993, at age 27, he quit. I don't want it to ever come across as like I was making this sort of, you know, statement, throwing the scarf behind and off into the sunset, you know, of like, I'm done with this pop career. It was just like, I wasn't really enjoying it. Um, I think I'd had my moment. You basically didn't perform for what, 15 years? Yeah. Did a few weddings, friends' weddings, family weddings. Yeah. Always sang Never Gonna Give You Up at weddings, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Never got paid for it, but weddings, yeah. <laughs> did you miss it at all? Um, no, I don't think I did, if I'm honest. But two events would finally coax him out of retirement. A UK promoter persuaded him to do a short tour. I think we've just been rickrolled. At the same time, an internet phenomenon was bringing back his biggest song. Two. Bruh. No. No. But his daughter, Emily, a teenager at the time, had to explain Rick Rowling to her dad. And she said, you do realize it's got nothing to do with you. 
I'm like, of course, you're absolutely right. It has given the song a whole other life. I am grateful for it, and I, I've, I've learned to roll with it. I haven't got any choice. That's the other thing. Mm -hmm. I've got no way of stopping it. Yeah. I can't say to the internet, by the way, I've had enough now. And when the song was featured in the Apple TV Plus series, Ted Lasso, Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Astley was surprised and touched. I was really, really, really moved with the church scene. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let, let you down. down. Never gonna run around to search you. Why were you so moved by it? In the church, she uses that as her eulogy to her dead father. That's like, I'm, I'm getting a bit like that now. That's pretty amazing. Never gonna run on the mixtape tour, Rick Astley is singing his hits again. But backstage, he warms up to Frank Sinatra. So you do Sinatra in your dressing room before the show? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd, pay to, I'd pay to see that show. Okay, well, I'll, I'll record it one evening. I'll send you a, I'll send you a link. <laughs> I recorded it last night. Oh, do you record it? You are all I wish. His wife, Lena, caught him from behind the dressing room door. Anyway, I, I think I'm done for the day, so I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Rick. Anthony Mason, CBS News. Maybe that should be our theme song. with us. Uh, we've got a summer camp for kids to keep on learning because you know what? We're never going to give them up. We're never going to let them down.